Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and there you can get the current affairs in quiz format and in digest format. And this is how you can attempt the quiz. For regular updates, please join our telegram channel and this is the name of telegram channel GK Today YouTube. So now let's start the quiz. What is the term of Office of Vigilance Commissioner in Central Vigilance Commission? So recently Central Vigilance Commission was in news as Suresh N. Patel was appointed as a Vigilance Commissioner in CVC. And the term of Office of Central Vigilance Commissioner and Vigilance Commissioners is 4 years or till the time they attain 65 years of age. So whichever is earlier is the tenure. Which country is the largest borrower of Asian Development Bank as of 2020? So India is the largest borrower of Asian Development Bank and India is the fourth largest shareholder of Asian Development Bank. ADB has approved approximately 30 billion dollars loan to India. Which rating agency estimated that India would grow at 0.2% in 2021? Now the question is which is the lowest ever estimate done for the country after this COVID-19 pandemic? So recently Moody investors downgraded the GDP growth rate forecast for India and it is 0.2% and it is the lowest estimate made for our country till date. Which Indian private sector bank will hold 30% of stake in Max Life Insurance in its joint venture with Max Financial Services? So Axis Bank is going to hold 30% stakes. Actually recently Axis Bank announced that it would acquire additional 29% stakes in Max Life Insurance and therefore Axis Bank will hold 30% stakes while remaining 70% of the stakes will be held by Max Financial Services. Which country is to chair the five member BRICS bloc for 2020? So Russia is the chair for 2020. BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Now recently Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Misustin was tested positive for coronavirus. Petersburg Dialogue is associated with which field? So it is associated to climate action and recently it was in news as the 11th session of Petersburg Dialogue was organized and from Indian side Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change Mr. Prakash Jaudekar participated in this dialogue and this was done through video conferencing. The Petersburg Dialogue has been hosted by Germany since 2010 to provide a global platform for informal political discussions about climate change and climate action. So this Petersburg Dialogue was hosted by Germany and it was co-chaired by UK that is United Kingdom. After failing to pay the host fee, which country lost the hosting rights of 2021 Men's World Boxing Championship? So we lost the hosting rights of 2021 Men's World Boxing Championship and now Serbia is going to host it. As per the recent study of National Institute of Biomedical Genomics, the novel coronavirus has mutated in how many different types? So as per the study, it has mutated in 10 different types and this study was conducted by the National Institute of Biomedical Genomics in Kalyani in West Bengal. An international commission named USCIRF is headquartered in which city? So it is in WDC that is Washington DC. What is USCIRF? It is US Commission for International Religious Freedom. Recently it was in news as it released an annual report and as per that report it has classified India under CPC category. What is CPC? It means countries of particular concern and as per this report India is a country of 
particular concern for increasing assault on religious minorities. The versatile Bollywood actor Irfan Khan, who passed away recently, had won national award for which movie? So he had won the national award for Pan Singh Tomar, and the actor passed away recently, and he won this national award in 2013. Apart from him, recently another well-known Bollywood actor, Mr. Rishi Kapoor, passed away. Which Indian state has introduced a scheme to levy? COVID-19 cess for diesel, petrol, and motor spirit. So this decision was taken by Nagaland. So it has introduced a scheme to levy COVID-19 cess for diesel, petrol, and motor spirit. The decision has been taken by the state government of Nagaland. On the other hand, recently Meghalaya has levied the sales tax surcharge at two percent on the motor spirit, including petrol and diesel. Jean Georges Nouvere is associated with which day that is celebrated in the month of April so it is related to World Dance Day and every year on 29th of April this World Dance Day is celebrated to commemorate the birth anniversary of Jean Georges Nouvere according to the recent report from IDMC that is International Displacement Monitoring Center in which country the world's highest number of people were displaced last year so it is our country and recently the report grid 2020 was released longlang and chuilan are the names of which migratory birds which were recently mentioned by union environment ministry so these are the names of amur falcon and recently the union environment ministry announced that these birds named longlang and chuilan were satellite tagged that means a satellite is monitoring these birds and therefore they are providing information regarding the flying pattern of these birds the kaveri water management authority that is cwma was constituted to address the dispute over water sharing among how many states or union territory so the government of india had constituted Kaveri Water Management Authority in 2018 to address the water dispute among Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, and Puducherry. As of 2020, which state has provided employment to highest number of labourers under M G Narega scheme, that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme? So Chhattisgarh has provided the maximum number of employment under this scheme rajasthan is on second position that means in rajasthan second most number of laborers are employed under mg narega scheme ts trimurthy who was seen in news recently has been appointed as the next permanent representative of india to which global organization so mr trimurthy so mr trimurthy has been appointed as india's ambassador or permanent representative to united nations he replaces mr sayed akbaruddin what is the name of veteran freedom fighter and national communal harmony awardee who passed away recently her name was hema bharli and she passed away recently she was the follower of gandhian principles and she was a well known freedom fighter The task force on NIP recently submitted their report to the Union Finance Minister. Now the question is what does I stand for in NIP? So NIP is National Infrastructure Pipeline. So I stands for infrastructure. And recently the task force on NIP submitted its final report to Union Finance Minister. And this National Infrastructure Pipeline was announced during the recent budget. So this exercise aims to invest rupee 100 lakhs crore on infrastructure of our country and this final report on nip submitted by this task force projects the total infrastructure investment of rupee 111 lakh crores during the period of 2022 2025 the asian development bank has financed south asia's first loan under 
its result based lending that is RBL modality to which country. So recently India got the loan of 346 million dollar loan from Asian Development Bank to provide reliable power connection in rural areas in Maharashtra. According to the Open Budget Survey conducted by the International Budget Partnership that is IBP, what is Rank of India in terms of budget transparency and accountability? So recently, the survey was conducted by IBP and it rates the level of budget transparency from 0 to 100. So New Zealand is on top position as per the survey and New Zealand got the score 87 while India is on 53rd position and India got 49 score. The global average is 45. So this survey rates the level of budget transparency. The United States has placed 10 countries including India on a priority watch list. Now the question is it is related to which issue? So it is related to IPR framework that is intellectual property rights framework and recently USA has placed 10 countries including India in PWL. What is PWL? It is priority watch list. International Energy Agency announced that lockdown in India has led to 30% fall in the country's energy demand. Now where is the headquarters of International Energy Agency? So it is in Paris in France and as per this IEA announcement there is a 30% reduction in demand due to lockdown. Kovil Patti Kadlai Mittai has been granted the GI tag that is geographical indication tag. Now in which state this Kovil Patti is located? So it is in Tamil Nadu and the popular candy of Tamil Nadu Kovil Patti Kadlai Mittai has been granted this GI tag. COVID-19 and the world of work is the title of report recently released by which international organization? So it has been released by ILO. ILO is International Labor Organization and every year on 1st of May, International Labor Day is celebrated. So as per this report of ILO, almost 1.6 billion workers in the informal economy will face problems due to this lockdown. Bank of Schemes, Ideas, Innovation and Research Portal has been launched by which Union Ministry? So it has been launched by MSME Ministry. What is MSME? It is Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. So this portal was launched by MSME Minister Mr. Nitin Gadkari through video conferencing. Who has been appointed as next chairperson of PESB. What is PESB? It is Public Enterprises Selection Board. So former Finance Secretary Mr. Rajiv Kumar has been appointed as next chairperson of PESB. He will replace Mr. K.D. Tripathi. Now PESB is the high powered body and it is under Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions. What is the objective of Jagananna Vidya Divana scheme? that was launched by Andhra Pradesh government. So we have covered this scheme in our previous lecture and this scheme is for college fees reimbursement. So as per this scheme, the reimbursement amount would be credited directly into the accounts of mothers of students. That means the college fees will be transferred in the account of mothers of students and this will help the students and it is a scheme by Andhra Pradesh government. What is the name of program on health and risk communication focused on COVID-19 that was launched by NCSTC? What is NCSTC? It is National Council for Science and Technology Communication. So the name of this program is YASH and YASH stands for Year of Awareness on Health. So this initiative has been launched by NCSTC and this NCSTC is under DST. What is DST? DST is Department of Science and Technology. 
project monitoring unit which was recently launched by the government is associated with which industry so it is associated with coal industry and yesterday only we have covered this in our news section so this pmu will speed up the process of operationalization of coal mining pmu stands for project monitoring unit so this will boost the coal production in our country now coal ministry was also in news as recently it launched a web portal for star rating of coal mines what is the objective of this star rating this policy for star rating has been formulated by coal ministry and this has been started to promote the sustainable mining practices in our country rbi recently extended the benefits under its slf mf scheme what is mf mf stands for mutual funds so recently rbi launched a 50000 crores scheme to enable banks to extend the liquidity support to mutual funds and the name of this initiative is special liquidity facility for mutual funds that is slf mf how many core sectors are considered while measuring the output of industries for ici in our country what is ici ici is index of core industries and eight sectors are considered for measuring ici these eight sectors are crude coal cement natural gas and fertilizers natural gas and fertilizers refinery products cements and steel so cement has already been covered so electricity is one so these are the eight core sectors that are considered while measuring ici which country announced to provide 3 million assistance to india through its pahal project what is pahal it is partnerships for affordable healthcare access and longevity so recently us decided to provide this assistance and this pahal is a collaborative project between us aid and ipe global so the objective of this initiative is to ensure affordable healthcare which state was formed along with maharashtra as a result of bombay reorganization act which came into effect on 1st of may 1960 so gujarat came into picture that means bombay reorganization act which came into effect on 1st of may in 1960 divided the then bombay province into two separate states veteran indian personality chunni goswami who passed away recently was associated to with sports so he was associated to football and he passed away recently he was the most successful indian football captain who has recently assumed charge at the next economic affairs secretary after superannuation of atanu chakravarti so the new economic affairs secretary is mr tarun bajaj what is the name of famous author and historian known for chronicling delhi who passed away recently so his name is ronald vivian smith and he was well known author and historian he passed away recently he was well known for his books according to the recent survey conducted by cmie that is center for monitoring indian economy which state recorded the highest number of unemployment rate in april 2020 so tamil nadu recorded the highest unemployment rate in april 2020 as per the survey conducted by cmie which is the first state to bring its migrant laborers after lockdown through a special shramik train run by ministry of railway so jharkhand is the first state to do so that means after lockdown jharkhand is the first state to bring its migrant laborers back to the state and for this purpose ministry of railway started special shramik trains The Election Commission of India has granted permission for holding elections to the legislative councils in which state or union territory amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Right answer is Maharashtra. As per the recent statement of World Meteorological Organization, the ozone hole over which region has depleted significantly. Right answer is Arctic region. So as per the WMO statement, the ozone hole which was caused by ods that is ozone depleting substances is now closing now in the context of ozone there is a protocol and the name of this protocol is montreal protocol thangjam 
the bali singh of manipur has been conferred the order of rising sun now this award is associated to which country so this award is associated to japan and dr thangjam dabali singh who is from manipur has been selected for this award from japan so this award is given to the person who contribute in japanese culture environmental protection or in international relationships chak how a variety of black rice was recently given gi tag it is found in which state so it is found in manipur we have already covered this question yesterday now manipur was also in news as it is the first state in northeast to become corona free tripura is the second state in northeast india to be free from corona virus so the first question is uv disinfection tower named uv blaster has been developed in india by which state owned organization so a laboratory of drdo developed this uv blaster and the name of this laboratory is laser science and technology center it is in new delhi and it is laboratory of drdo so this has developed a disinfection tower named uv blaster now this equipment can be used for the disinfection of surfaces like electronic equipment computers and other gadgets usually these equipments cannot be disinfected with the traditional chemical methods india sme services platform is a digital initiative of which financial institution of india so it is a initiative of sidbi what is sidbi it is small industries development bank of india and it is a lucknow based entity and recently it announced that it is going to launch a digital platform and what is the name of this platform the name is india SME services platform so this platform will provide information to MSME about the various schemes as well as how MSME can get financial and credit support this will also inform MSME about the various initiative taken by the government or MSME sector in the context of corona virus next question is leading journalism and research organization pointer institutes International Fact Checking Network that is IFCN launched its chatbot on which social media handle so this chatbot was launched on WhatsApp and this IFCN reviews the fact checking organization based on its code of ethics Dar Yasin Mukhtar Khan and Channi Anand the photographers at Associated Press were recently in news for receiving which award so these three personalities were in news in the context of pulitzer prize for photography and they have won this pulitzer prize for feature photography and it is a prestigious award in the field of journalism in us what is the theme of online contact group summit of nam that is non aligned movement which held in may 2020 so the theme was united against covid 19 and recently this event was organized and prime minister mr modi participated in this event from indian side and this event was hosted by the current chairperson of nam and azerbaijan is the current chair of nam nagma ke sanghars se a program that was in news recently is associated with which field so this program is associated to art and culture and recently the national gallery of modern art organized this virtual program to showcase its artwork and this program is based on various themes and the theme of this week was artist by artist and it was dedicated to ravindranath tagore birsa harit gram yojana nilambar pitambar jal samriddhi yojana and photo ho khel vikas yojana these three schemes were in news recently now these schemes are associated to with state of india so these are the schemes of jharkhand government which steel company has withdrawn its membership from the apex steel industry body indian steel association so recently tata steel announced its withdrawal from the Indian Steel Association the president of Indian Steel Association was the CEO and MD of Tata Steel and he is TV Narendran so he was the president of ISA now he also stepped down from this position of president of ISA 
the 2021 Commonwealth Youth Games, which has been rescheduled to 2023, was previously planned to be held in which country? Right answer is Trinidad and Tobago. Actually, due to COVID-19 crisis, the games has been postponed to 2023. Now, it was announced that for 2023, Trinidad and Tobago will be given the first preference to host Commonwealth Youth Games. So now, these games have been postponed to 2023. Which country has successfully isolated the monoclonal neutralizing antibody, which is considered as an important step in the treatment of COVID-19? So recently, IIBR, that is Israel Institute for Biological Research, claimed that it has isolated the monoclonal neutralizing antibody and this was announced by the Defense Minister of Israel. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has been awarded a commemorative World War II medal by which country? So recently Russia awarded Kim Jong-un a commemorative World War II medal marking the 75th anniversary of the victory over Nazi Germany. So this award was given to Kim Jong-un to recognize the role of North Korea and to recognize the role of North Korea in preserving the memory of Soviet soldiers who died in the territory of North Korea. According to the Lost at Home report published by UNICEF, which country constituted the highest number of new internal displacement in the world in 2019? So, this is a report by UNICEF and as per this report, India constituted the highest number of internal displacement in the world and the title of this report is Lost at Home. So, India is followed by Philippines, Bangladesh and China. And as per this report, more than 5 million people faced internal displacement in our country. Which country is set to launch a remote sensing satellite named Arctica M to monitor the Arctic climate and environment? So, Russia is going to launch this satellite to monitor the Arctic climate and the name of satellite is Arctica M. Now, Russia was also in news as recently Mikhail Misustin was appointed as the Prime Minister of Russia. Mikhail Misustin was also in news as recently he was tested positive for COVID-19. Russia was also in news as recently WADA banned Russia for four years. WADA is World Anti-Doping Agency and the headquarter of WADA is in Canada. What is the name of operation launched by Indian Navy to repatriate the Indian citizens stranded in other countries? So two keywords are Indian Navy and second keyword is to repatriate the Indian citizens. So because of this COVID-19, a lot of Indians are stuck in various countries and this Operation Samudra Shetu is an operation by Indian Navy to bring back people and the first phase of this operation will be associated with Maldives. Garud, that is Government Authorization for Relief Using Drones portal which was in news recently was launched by which Union Ministry. So we have already covered this thing in yesterday's news segment and it is an initiative by Ministry of Civil Aviation along with DGCA that is Directorate General of Civil Aviation. And why this was started? For drones, that means in order to fly drones in our country, you need permission. Who has received the DST, that is Department of Science and Technology's Young Career Award in Nanoscience and Technology for this year? Right answer is Professor Saurav Lodha and he is a professor in IIT Bombay and he received this award for contributing in the development of logic transistor. What is the name of campaign launched by Niti Aayog to ensure the well-being of senior citizens during COVID-19 pandemic? So the name of this campaign is Surakshit Dada Dadi Nana Nani Abhiyan. And for this campaign, Niti Aayog has collaborated with Piramal Foundation. Nigah is a new initiative with state government that aims to impart awareness among the family members of people coming from other states. So, what is the background of this initiative? Due to lockdown, the migrant workers now started coming back home. And in order to spread awareness among the family members of those who came back home, the state government of Himachal Pradesh started this Nigah initiative. As for the recent report of CMIE, that is Center for Monitoring Indian Economy, which area of country recorded the maximum unemployment rate 
after COVID-19. So, as per this report of CMIE, the employment rates of India was 27.11 percentage for the week that ended on 3rd of May. Toman, which was in news recently, is the new currency of which country? So, we have already covered this segment in yesterday's news discussion and the country is Iran. So, recently Iran parliament passed a bill and as per this bill, Toman is going to be the new currency of Iran and one Toman is equal to 10,000 rials. Which global alliance hosted the Coronavirus Global Response International Pledging Conference to raise funds for COVID-19? So, this was organized by European Union. Why it was organized? To raise fund for COVID-19 response and USA as well as Russia did not participate in this conference. And the target set by European Commission for the initial funding was approximately 8 billion US dollars and Canada was the highest contributor. As per the recent judgment of Apex Court, which category of banks may be included under Surface Act? Now, what exactly is the Surface Act? It stands for Securitization and Reconstruction of Financial Assets and Enforcement of Security Interest. So, this is an act of 2002. And recently, as per the Supreme Court judgment, the cooperative banks which are involved in banking activities are considered as a banking company. Hence, the Surface Act may be modified to include the process of loan recovery by these cooperative banks. Who are the beneficiaries of YSR Matsekar Bharosa scheme of Andhra Pradesh government? So, the scheme is related to fishermen. And under the scheme, the state government will provide financial assistance of rupee 10,000 to each fisherman family. So, this would help the fisherman community during the lockdown period and during the marine ban period. Who has been reappointed as the chairperson of parliament's PAC that is Public Account Committee. So the chairman of this committee is selected from opposition party and Mr. Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary has been appointed as the chairperson of this committee. Now this committee was formulated as a result of Montesquieu Chelmsford reforms. It is important to note that after 1950, the committee became a parliamentary committee and since 1967, the chairperson of the committee is selected from the opposition party. 